Welcome back to KB News at 10. 57 years ago today, America and the world were stunned by the death of our 35th president, John F. Kennedy, the victim of an assassin's rifle. On tonight's backstory, Bob Buckaloo returns us to the day it all happened. Stretch pants again in the faded soldier blue, which I think is such a stunning combination. Okay, it's November 22nd, 1963. Imagine yourself watching a fashion show on a local TV station in Dallas, Channel 8 when suddenly there's some sort of static. That's a bulletin. This is from the United Press from Dallas. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassins' bullets in downtown Dallas. That's how Dallas, and eventually the world, heard the news. Government sources now confirm that President Kennedy is dead. And here we are, 57 years later, and the story still holds our attention. Even those not yet born have heard about the man with the high-powered rifle, Lee Harvey Oswald, who shot the president and Texas Governor John Connolly from a window in the nearby Texas School Book Depository as Kennedy's motorcade drove by. How Vice President Lyndon Johnson would be sworn in as president aboard Air Force One. How Oswald himself would be assassinated two days later by a man named Jack Ruby as Dallas police were transferring their prisoner to the county jail. How the Warren Commission investigating the case said that Oswald had acted alone and that Ruby shot Oswald because he was upset that President Kennedy had been killed. But almost as soon as the government wrapped up its official investigation, public doubts arose. Was the killing the work of a single man or part of a larger conspiracy? 57 years after the death of JFK, most Americans do not believe the official version. A recent survey found that 61% said that others were involved in the assassination. Add to that all the doubts raised by the books and documentaries. In fact, it's been estimated that over a thousand books have been written about the Kennedy assassination. And here we are in 2020, and there's a new book out that takes a fresh look at what went down in 1963. Authors Katana Zachary and Sarah Peterson, both Texans, wanted to help solve what they called the mystery of the Kennedy assassination. So they located and interviewed people still alive who were connected to the events surrounding the death of President Kennedy. People with vivid memories of that day in November 1963. Many of them believed that Lee Harvey Oswald was not the assassin that he was what he said he was, a patsy. As uh, the chief of the Dallas police finally admitted after Oswald had been killed, they never had any proof that could put that man up on the sixth floor with a rifle shooting during the time of the assassination. And the Warren Commission really in their investigation only took five months to interview witnesses if they would have opened it up and looked into perhaps more than one assassin, they were probably afraid that we couldn't handle it. Another look at the death of John F. Kennedy from the memories of those who still recall that day in history all those years ago. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.